Dart Bust Point, a designated place on the bust and pattern and referred to in flat pattern making as the pivotal point or apex. Figure 1. Dart, a wedge-shaped cutout in a pattern to control the fit of a garment when stitched. Dart legs, the two lines that converge at a predetermined point on the pattern dart intake. The amount of excess, or space, confined between dart legs. Its purposes are to take up excess where it is not needed and to gradually release fabric where it is needed to control the fit of the garment. Truing. The blending and straightening of pencil lines, cross marks, and dot marks for the purpose of establishing correct seam lengths. For example, truing a side seam having a side dart. Fold dart and draw side seam. Figure 2A. Trace the side seam line. Figure 2B. Unfold dart and pencil in the dart. Figure 2C. Blending, truing, and equalizing. Uneven curves of joining seams can be blended by equalizing the differences. The adjusted seam lines are blended smoothly along the seam line, especially hip lines and leg lines. Figure 1. Blending. A process of smoothing, shaping, and rounding angular lines along a seam for a smooth transition from one point to the next and for blending marks made on the pattern or muslin. Blending includes truing. Figures 2A, 2B. Special information. Right side up when sides differ. Instruction applies to asymmetrical designs. Right side differs from the left side, and for patterns cut from engineered fabrics, such as border prints, randomly spaced flowers, geometric forms, and multiple colors. Such fabrics require specific pattern placement so that the fabric design can be arranged in the same location for all garments cut from that fabric. Right side up, RSUP, indicates to the marker maker that the pattern is to be placed face up on the marker. Detail location. Mark the location in which a detail is to be placed on the pattern. This will ensure that the flower, abstract detail, or stripes will always be on the correct side and in the correct place on the garment. Production terms. First pattern. A first pattern is the original pattern developed for designs. The first pattern is generally made on marking paper and requires fitting and pattern corrections. Half a pattern is developed in the workroom, unless instructed otherwise. An asymmetrical design always requires a full pattern. Unless the garment is dropped from the line, it will be tested for fit until perfect. Production pattern. A production pattern is the final corrected and error-free copy. The pattern contains every pattern piece required to complete the garment. The pattern is used by the grader for sizing and by the marker maker for fabric layout. See Figure 1C. A pattern chart is placed in front of the pattern set and a design tag is stitched to the garment for tracking. Marker. A marker is the arrangement of pattern pieces, either manually traced on marking paper or patterns laid on a special paper and photographed, or patterns are digitized for computer application in laying out the marker. All pattern symbols are marked on the patterns. Patterns are interlocked. Sizes are mixed to eliminate fabric waste. Grain lines on the patterns lay parallel with the selvage, with one exception. Small patterns are fit into available space without regard to the grain line. The printout paper marker is laid on top of many layers of fabric. Patterns are cut either manually or by computer. 